So this is the gray background tutorial for Windows 8 and Windows 10. Uh, the steps should be the same for both versions, but for this video we'll be using Windows 10. And uh, I want to note that the steps are a little more complicated than in previous versions like Windows 7 or Windows XP, but we're going to walk you through it. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the registry editor and we go there by hitting Windows R. So the Windows key on your keyboard, it's between Control and Alt usually. You hit R, hit them at the same time, you got your run dialog. So this lets us type in reg edit. This is typically a tool reserved for advanced users and lets you make changes and adjustments to your uh, system settings uh, directly. So the first place we're going to go is H key current user. There we go. And within here, we're going to go to control panel. That is kind of where we made the changes in previous versions of Windows. And you go down to colors. We want to change the color from this white to a gray. So let's pull up window down here and see how window has a value of 255, 255, 255. Uh, some of you can already guess this is the RGB or red, green, and blue value for the for a color. Right? Computers usually view colors uh, with a red value, a green value, and a blue value. So zero, zero, zero would mean there's no color, which makes it black. And so if you go to 255, 255, 255, that gives us a full white. So we're going to make this something like 192 space, 192 space, 192. Make sure you type the spaces because that's how it knows you're moving from, okay, so red is 192, green is 192, blue is 192. So we're getting a kind of a, a middle ground between white and black, kind of a light grayish. And you can adjust this to something that is more to your taste, but for this, uh, we'll, we'll keep it to 182, 192. And so this is not actually going to make the change yet. We're going to have to restart Windows. So we're going to do that, and I'll be right back. So we are back from the restart. Let's see if it actually worked. We're going to pull up Excel, and sure enough, it is gray. Right? This is great. This lets us use white font colors and, and all that, white fill. And what this does is it helps us work differently in Excel as opposed to when you print out the worksheet on actual paper. And you'll come across that situation a few times in our courses. So let's go back to the desktop and close our Excel for now. And you notice that sometimes Windows 8, especially Windows 8 and Windows 10, uh, will sometimes revert the change and they'll make the background back to the original white after you've just restarted your computer a couple times or maybe your computer went to sleep or hibernate or uh, whatever it is. And it's kind of annoying, kind of time consuming. It's not very efficient to have to go to run, type in regedit, and do all that over again, right? So the quicker way to do it is to save it as a theme. It's built into Windows. So you right click on your desktop, you go to personalize. You're going to go to themes. What we're going to do is go to theme settings. By the way, if you're on Windows 8, you won't have to click on theme and then theme settings because when you right click on your desktop and go to personalize, it'll pop up the theme settings right away. This is going to let us save what we have now with this gray background as gray, right? So we can actually go and change our theme to this gray one in case Windows decides to change its mind and make us use something else. So you can click save theme here. I like to right click here, go to save theme. Call it something, call it gray if you want. You can click on it and come back to it. After that, you might have to restart your computer once just to see the change. The last thing we're going to do, just to make it a little faster, is to right click and do save theme for sharing. And what this does is it actually breaks it out into a separate desk theme pack file. And you can save that anywhere you want. I like to put it on the desktop just for now. We'll call it WST gray theme. If you want, you can come back and add some spaces. It's up to you. I like to make it one word, make the search a little easier. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So we hit save. And this is going to put a copy of this theme onto our desktop right there. And any time from now on, we can actually go here and double click it or hit enter, or whatever. And that will open up the theme on the spot and make that change. So you don't have to go to right click, personalize theme settings, and pull this up. It's a little bit faster. Of course, 
there is one last step one last way to make things super fast i mentioned something about a search so in the future instead of going to your desktop and clicking this you can actually go to hit windows go to your start menu and you'll notice you can actually type down here search programs and files so in the future if you want to really quickly get to this you can hit your start menu from anywhere just to wst gray theme hit enter and it'll load 